Joining me now is Democratic Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy, who sits on the House Intel Committee, and he questioned McGuire this morning. Congressman, good to see you. That was yeah. interesting. Uh, uh, McGuire, for most of that uh, testimony, appeared to be a pretty straight shooter about things. But Adam Schiff asked him, the chairman asked him several times, you can answer it this way or you can answer it this way. It's basically a yes or no question. Did you speak to the president or didn't you? And he gave some version of executive privilege. And if I had talked to the president, I wouldn't tell you about it. That's right. So uh, you can invoke or the White House can assert executive privilege over the substance of a conversation. But the existence of the conversation um, is not protected by privilege, and certainly no privilege shields misconduct. And so um, these are certain basic principles which I think may have eluded uh, Acting Director McGuire, who otherwise, as I said during the hearing, should be thanked for his service, and, and he's a real patriot, but he made some bad decisions. You said in the hearing, uh, and I'm quoting from you, what lends credibility to the whistleblower's complaint is the fact that the Inspector General Atkinson, an appointee of the president, would actually bring forward a complaint against his boss, and that's something that's especially courageous. The fact is the, the AG, uh, the Inspector, I'm sorry, the IG, the Inspector General, did find the complaint to be uh, credible and urgent, the Correct. things that had to happen. Correct. I hope that your viewers have a chance to look at the um, inspector general's analysis. It's called a determination. Um, it was based on a two-week um, analysis of the complaint. He spoke to witnesses, he reviewed other materials, and he came up with the determination that it was both credible and it met the urgent concern analysis. The fact that this Trump appointee would come forward, though he did not have to, to bring to our attention that, hey, I turned over a whistleblower complaint to the DNI who's not giving it to you, is not something he had to do. But he did it anyway. He was professional. He was courageous. And I asked um, DNI McGuire to make sure that he's not retaliated against either, just like with the whistleblower. Let's talk about retaliation. The president said earlier to members of the uh, United States uh, mission to the U United Nations, he said, I want to know who the person who gave the whistleblower the information was, because that's close to a spy. You know what we used to do in the old days when we were smart with spies and treason, right? We used to handle it a little differently than we do now. What do you make of that? What's well, the same kind of talk that we've heard uh, during the Mueller uh, investigation to intimidate witnesses? Um, you know, what we told DNI McGuire is um, you need to do everything you can to protect this whistleblower, and we need to make sure that others who have knowledge of the misconduct at issue are able to come forward to us. Um, as you could tell from our um, uh, Q&A today, there are many witnesses. Uh, in fact, there were more than 12 witnesses on the very phone call at issue on July 25th, and they all took notes, uh, most likely. So this is something that um, uh, is very disturbing, and I don't like these mafia-like tactics to try to intimidate witnesses, which I um, see as a pattern with our president. Congressman, good to talk to you. Uh, Congressman Roger Krishnamurthy you. of uh, Illinois is a member of the House Intelligence Committee.